Welcome back to County Connection. Ever hear of a healthy rap song? Well, you'll want to hear this one. It's Bananas. Let's crush it. Live well, San Diego. Focusing on healthy nutrition, healthy habits, and the importance of physical activity. Six, Six dimensions, dimensions of health, health, social, spiritual, occupational. I'm talking about your health, man. Do, Do you, you even, even know? know? I don't know, but it seems kind of shady. Talking about my health, and it doesn't even phase me. Physiological, physical, intellectual. Talking about your health, man. Do you even know? Do you know? I don't know. I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. Check it. In order to be a good child, gotta recognize your faults and your health. Healthy nutrition and healthy habits. It's good for your health, they work for the Mavericks Lakers, Clippers, and even the Bulls Worked on the health and now they seem cool Got all the diamonds, got all the rings You can have it too, gotta remember three things Three, four, over fifty Tobacco use, four diet, lack of exercise Three, four, over fifty Heart disease, lung cancer, that's what you decide One day, I came up with a strategy Flipped my whole script, man, changed my mentality See, I used to have it all messed up, I was stuck Something like the blues of the month Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis Think about your health, man. Can you reminisce? Social, spiritual, occupational. I'm talking about your health, man. Do you even know? I don't know, but it seemed kind of shady. Talking about my health, and it doesn't even phase me. Physiological, physical, intellectual. Talking about your health, man. Do you even know? Do you know? I don't know. I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. Check it. Let's talk about all these kids not doing nothing with their life, smoking cigs, chilling in the corner, looking like a foreigner. Your life is going fast, and they don't even warn you. Step back, relax, and just chill. I know you want to smoke, but it will get you killed. Need to get healthy and need to get fit. Now remind you, here's a little trick. Feel the best that you can. Promote good health in your daily living plan. Mind, body, spirit connected as one. If it don't promote health, then we don't need none. I got a will to improve and invigorate the soul. Go ahead, find your groove, take control. Use your energy in the right way. Do everything you can to live life healthy. Thoughts, feelings, and behavior is what you think is positive by nature. Focus on this or focus on that. So I focus on facts that make you feel bad. What you eat, how you sleep, what you do. We're alive and aware and we got the right to choose. It goes three. Four. Over 50, cigarettes and inactivity are risky. Three behaviors, four kinds of disease account for half the SDs, casualties. Embrace that which promotes good health. Everybody's thirsty, there's water in the well. Got this life to live, wanna live this life right. Have you seen the light? Yeah, I've seen the light. Have you seen the light? Yeah, yeah we've, we've seen, seen the light. light. If you haven't checked out some of the art collections at the county's Kearney Mesa campus, you're really missing out. It's a pretty wonderful situation um, as an artist when you are asked to do a piece. I wanted to do something that contrasted the architecture and so I did a, a fairly organic piece. I wanted to do something that would um, hold its own outside this building. I work a lot in small half inch pieces of cut glass. I chose two colors which I use a lot in my work, the blue and the gold, so it's the night and the day. They represent time to me, they represent the passage of time. The piece also references a little bit of a Mobius strip. It passes over each other and it just kind of continues on. So the piece in itself is a closed piece. It's kind of a meditative thing when you start using all of this glass. I mean, there's like 80,000 pieces of glass that are being put on this piece. And it's all hand cut. So it's, it's very human in that way. I mean, it's, everything is done by hand. You know, you can do a lot of small things in your studio, but when you get the chance and the opportunity to do something that has a scale to it, because I think the scale is really important, especially when it's up against such a huge building, it's just wonderful to have that opportunity and then to see what becomes of it. I hope people enjoy it. Ahoy! 
let's hop on a boat and check out Lake Morena. California has been experiencing some shaking lately, but do you know what to do? See how you can get prepared for the next earthquake. Earthquakes in San Diego County. There are several faults that run through our beautiful San Diego County. Most residents are actually less than 15 minutes from one. The Rose Canyon Fault is the only major active earthquake fault in the urban San Diego area. This fault could produce up to a magnitude 7.4 earthquake. Earthquakes this large could cause major damage and cut off power and services for up to days or weeks. While we can't predict earthquakes, we can take steps now to be prepared. So when the earth starts to shake, you will only have seconds to react. Don't run outside. Most injuries and or deaths are caused by outdoor hazards and falling debris. Instead, drop down onto your hands and knees. Cover your head and neck with your arms and take shelter under a sturdy table or desk and hold on until the shaking stops. If you're in bed, stay there and protect your head and neck with a pillow. If you are outside, move away from buildings, trees, power lines, and other large objects that could fall. If you're in a wheelchair, lock the wheels and protect your head and neck with your arms. If you're driving, pull over until the shaking stops and try to avoid stopping near power lines, trees, or under freeway overpasses. And if you're at the beach, wait until the shaking stops and move inland to higher ground immediately. Earthquakes can trigger tsunamis that could arrive in just minutes. To learn more about earthquake preparedness, visit readysandiego.org. When someone goes missing, these four-legged volunteers get moving. Ready to go work? Check. It might be a little wet outside. Go fine. But for this group, the training must go on. And today's trainees... Raven is a black lab. She's 22 months old. Uh, I've had her since she was nine weeks old. Her is a golden retriever. She's... Uh, 11 years old. She's been working since she was eight weeks old. So the first thing we're going to do is lay a trail and why don't we go across the pedestrian bridge here and okay. uh, go into the housing area. If you haven't guessed, this group of volunteers are part of the San Diego County Sheriff's Search and Rescue Canine Unit. The uh, canine unit provides their own dog. They're responsible for taking care of their dog 
and we train the dogs to do this. There's quite an extensive certification process before a dog has a badge and can go out on a mission. Today they're training in an urban environment. We had a tracking problem and we had an area problem. A tracking exercise consists of a volunteer walking a route that a tracking dog will have to sniff out to find them. Sometimes we don't mark them. In this case, it, it was marked, and then I introduce a scent article to her from the last spot where she was seen. I tell her to go find, and she trails that specific scent uh, to the subject, and when she finds them, she gets the reward. Yay, good girl. Good job, Raven, good girl. That's a good dog. And an area search puts the four-legged tracker to the test searching a wide area for a human scent. The first thing is we give her the command to go look for the person. Go find! Every handler has their own phrase, but that's the, the on switch for karma. Karma, check over here. One wilderness area that would take an hour and a half for three searchers, she can clear in about 10 minutes. The canine unit trains about every weekend to keep their sniffing and searching skills in shape. Would you call it a success? Yeah, I mean, good training. I mean, you know, it's sometimes it's tough. You think she's on scent and whether the scent got blown down or she just missed it, it's hard to say. For a dog, the, the positive reinforcement is what makes for a successful search dog. Uh, this is my volunteer job, but uh, I have a real passion for it and I can hardly wait till it's the only thing I can focus on. <laughs> this is just something I enjoy doing and I've wanted to find something that I could help out volunteer wise and I came across this and loved it ever since. And if you ever need search and rescue. Don't hesitate to call. There's no cost to the individual for us to come out and, and help. And again, not only canines, but we have a whole team search and rescue ready to deploy and help somebody if they need us. Good job, good job. That's a good girl. That's a good To see more stories like these, follow us on social media or visit countynewscenter.com.